That looks nice. New. Let's just swim in it. Trying out the new Buster swim bait. Not even really released in uh, this country at least yet. So, yeah, like very brand new. Uh, oh wow. <laughs> that swim's so good. Such a wide glide on it. Did you see that? So, yeah. Ordered this from Sweden arrived uh, yesterday so we're gonna give it a go see if we can uh, get some nice pike on it we have like a two hour session this morning i think a lot of color in water but i don't think that should be too much trouble to be fair We just hit it. I've been here like five minutes. Barely hit it, but it hit. So I'm waking up behind it then, so I slowed it down and. Yeah. We got a hit. So we'll definitely catch them today then. It was proper not up for that one then, but fully woken up yet. Seems it's like. So pretty dark. Yeah, we've got weed on this. Oh, no way. That was a better fish, that one then. Just freaking missed another. <laughs> Straight out in front of me, just cruised in from side. Oh wow, felt that bit it, but I don't know if he had his mouth open or what. <laughs> Two hits then, neither of them have proper like tried to swallow it yet, so. Bit of action already though. Quite literally five minutes of fishing so yeah good start definitely nice. been a bit slower than I expected dropped on them to it straight away and uh, yeah not had anything since then hopefully drop on a couple never really fished this stretch past here to be honest so it's yeah new ground to me basically What would be uh, feeding today though. Nice and overcast, with loads of rain, low pressure. But... Took a while, but we're on it. Ah, smashed into that end, dude. Get the bag off. Oh, surprise! <laughs> Surprised me to get a hit. Then I was starting to uh, think they're just not on it at all. That is putting up a decent fight as well. 
I must have just come out at feed now for a bit of rain, but yeah, fish. Not too bad either. Fish, probably 70 as well. Absolutely nailed that. He's got uh, dodgy eyes, probably had knocking that at some point. But yeah, not keep him out too long. Get these ups out, get him back. There we go. Buster jerk, or Buster swim even. It's gonna flip. No, it's not. There we go. Yeah, maybe like uh, high 60s, low 70s, but yeah, not a bad stat. It's gonna flip now. There we go. Straight off some trees on far bank. First fish tipped off. It took a little while, longer than I expected, but uh, we got there. There we go. I've caught one on it now. We know it worked. Well, we knew it worked anyway, but it's official. As Marlin Bates would say. Basically, uh, I've been fishing this, trying to cover water quick. Casting it as close tight as to them trees as I can. Like so. And then aggressive but quite slow working it to start. Just so I can keep it near them trees longer. Get loads of attention on it and uh, yeah, that's where I'm expecting the, expecting the strikes and then when away from the trees just winding it in with pauses, basically. And uh, yeah, you'll still get hits like that. But I'm just trying to keep it near the trees as long as I can but then you know not waste loads of time fishing it the whole way about like that since they're following it they'll just take it on a spin stop regardless well if they're keen on it anyway but yeah I've worked out the trees now so I'm going to uh, trawl back a few casts in some hot spots and that but yeah, this section's been pretty slow today, so we're gonna have an hour on a different section, see if we can pull something out of there. And he's got up in his back now. <clears throat> Jump down and grab him. Made a mess of that, didn't you, mate? The hook was in his mouth, then he got wrapped, it pulled out and went into his back, so yeah, not good. That is why I use a three foot long leader, he's been wrapped before this lad as well. It must just be weight, text baits. See that leader's all wrapped around in there. You can see. Like, yeah, he's been wrapped before. Some damage from it, but yeah, second pike on Buster anyway. Was in his mouth and then <laughs> managed to get it into his back, but not too bad. That was, uh, yeah, I need to get one that quick in a second. There he goes. But, um, yeah, as you can see, I've got a three foot leader. So when that happens, it can uh, damage a pike. Oh, that's the second one anyway. It's funny actually, the last time I fished this peg, I had a fish here. But it wasn't that fish, it was a small one. Thank you. 
came back for it twice then, straight up from out in the middle. Doubt that'll come back. Yeah, he hit it. Looked like it'd gone and then, uh, yeah, came back round. But it popped off. Go for it, it swirled on it. Oh man. Must have seen me yesterday. That's frustrating. <laughs> oh another miss, the proper no Again and again and again. That's three times he's gone for it. Come on. Fourth trailer. Being so coy. They've been caught recently, or is um, they're just the way they are today. It's been a lot like that. Not really on it, on it. Might as well um, do a little outro while we're out of the cold. Try and make it quick. Hard day, but well, hard session been thinking about three hours with it. Um, fish just not on it at all today, so I think we've done well for that. Two part landed, missed uh, what three or four, so yeah, not bad at all. Definitely use this more. Nice and easy to work on reel, and then straight retrieve. She's got a good glide. Jerk can rod tip, you can do it, but you've got to proper tame it down like sort of like this, as opposed to aggressive, like I like to. So yeah, I've been sticking to reel and straight retrieves with pauses. But another day, get a ton of fish on it. It's definitely uh, one that I'd get a lot of numbers of fish, that's for sure. If you dropped on the right spot. I know some places where I'd get 20 pike a day on this one lure, no problem. So. Yeah, that's, that's going to do it for this session. Might throw some more clips in, you never know. But I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next video.